to football because the 2022 World Cup has been beset by problems ever since it was awarded to Qatar nearly a decade ago. Football's governing body FIFA has been criticised for holding the tournament in a state that's been accused of human rights abuses and of mistreating workers. Last year, FIFA announced the Qatar World Cup would be the first to feature an expanded competition of 48 teams, much to the disquiet of many football fans. But on Wednesday... FIFA said it was scrapping those plans and would stick with the 32-country format after all. I heard more from Rob Harris, who covers international sport for the Associated Press. FIFA decided already that the 2026 World Cup, which will take place in the US, Mexico and Canada, will have 48 teams. And FIFA President Gianni Fantino decided about a year or so ago he'd be quite keen to fast-track this expansion, add another 16 teams for the 2022 World Cup. So obviously, this was potentially going to really shake up all the planning that was settled on for that World Cup and would have involved using at least one additional country in the Gulf region. And they've come to the conclusion that that would be too much trouble. Yes, FIFA have now come to the conclusion that it was just impossible, effectively, to be able to look at expanding in the Gulf while there is the diplomatic crisis that's been ongoing now for almost two years, that boycott of Qatar by the Saudis, the UAE and Bahrain. So FIFA realised that actually there was not enough time left to be able to get another country to accommodate expanding uh, venues while not conflicting the FIFA's newfound adherence to human rights and labour standards. Those are a result of the criticism around Qatar themselves. And so for 2022, there'll obviously be fewer places up for grabs. Does that mean some countries will be missing out or is it so far away that it won't make much difference? Well, I mean, one region in particular that will be impacted is Oceania, New Zealand, the leading team there. As it stands now, Oceania does not have a guaranteed place at a World Cup. It has to go through playoffs. In other countries and regions, they would obviously been hoping for more places at the World Cup. That's indeed at the heart of this expansion to 48 uh, countries in 2026, because as FIFA sees, it gives more hope to countries that they get to play on football's bigger stage. But it's more of a yeah, smaller tournament, obviously, for 2022, but the last 32 team World Cup. Many might see it as the uh, last ideal format, because all sorts of machinations of group formats change to accommodate those 48 teams in 2022 which uh, some see as uh, potentially reducing the standard and quality of the games on offer. Rob Harris of the Associated Press. This is the newsroom from the BBC World Service. Our headlines.